Hello Aries and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So I thought it would be fun to do an April monthly. I don't typically do monthlies but I'm going to uh, throw this out for the month of April uh, and uh, especially as we started on spring. Uh, so there you have it. It's going to be a general read uh, that taps into uh, you know the general collective. If you're looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, go to theguidedintuitive.com up here or in my description box below. All right. So um, this will be exciting because they, we have a, a super pink moon that starts on April 7th. And that is, you know, the spring the, the spring flowers are blooming, hence the pink moon, uh, you know, for those little flowers, primarily the pink ones that they call the uh, phlox, I believe. Um, they're little tiny pink flowers. They're really beautiful. They come in lots of different colors, but primarily the uh, Native Americans have named it the, the pink moon, which I absolutely love. It's most popular. And the beauty of it is, is that things are blossoming. So start your intentions now. Now, April 7th. Uh, 7 is about having faith, so put those intentions in place, right? Uh, and then, of course, April uh, 7 plus 4, which is 4 is the month, uh, that brings into 11, which is a master number, you know, almost going through the gates, the portal. It's very spiritual. Um, and then if you add the last, uh, the year into that, so 7 plus 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, oh, excuse me, 11 plus 4, that would be a 15, and then that brings it into a 6 reduces to a six, which guess what that means? Growth, right? And how perfect for the springtime, right? So it's, it's, you'll start your intentions now, uh, in terms of what you would like to see in terms of this full moon that's coming in play it will be the first full moon of spring. Uh, and, uh, exciting, very, very exciting. It's going to be 7% bigger than most full moons because it's a super moon and it's about 17% more brighter, you know, brighter. So it's, it's, it'll be beautiful. Uh, so, okay, there you go. So let's uh, go ahead and see where you're at. Uh, let's see here. Now, this is a general read, like I said, um, so keep that in mind. Um, I do want to let you know is that we uh, have a membership site that's listed below as well, so do check that out. Um, we just finished our classes uh, that we had, which is the Feminine Energy feminine energy class, which was amazing. Uh, and uh, gosh, if you are looking to make a change and you want some accountability and inspiration and motivation, and you are dead set on wanting to change and sick of the cycle that you might be going through in a career, in a relationship, whatever that case may be, you do want to just set up a discovery session with me here. Uh, that is a uh, complimentary one-on-one -on -one, uh, opportunity to get to know each other. And then we make a recommendation uh, as to a program if uh, and invite you in if it's a good match. Okay. So there you have it. So here we jump in into this. Where you're at right now, Aries, where are you at right now? My Mercury is in Aries. So we'll see what wants to come out for you here. Okay. Here you are. Where are you at right now? King of Cups. So this is actually getting stable in your emotions. Uh, this is beautiful. I like to see this. So when I see this, it tells me that it's all about, um, you know, just your authority. It's it's getting stable in your emotions, getting balanced in your emotions. Now you might be dealing with the King of Cups. This is Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces type energy, or you're just carrying that energy. Okay. And this is beautiful because when I, when I see this, I get very emotionally balanced, having the authority over your emotions. And I will tell you, Aries, that's pretty darn good, okay? Um, anything else that wants to come out in your current situation right now? Current situation? Queen of Wands, okay? So there might be two people here. <laughs> uh, yeah, there might be two people. Um, then I, I've got the Aries Leo Sagittarius. I almost feel like you're here. I almost feel like you're here with the cat, the spirituality, right? And, uh, you know, uh, looking towards the light, being very confident uh, is who you are. And then you've got a king of cups in your realm. So you might have, again, a water sign around you or you're taking on this sign. But I do think this is you. So it's almost like we feel like we've got two people here. I always want to kind of see what wants to come up. And uh, there we go. We've got a couple people here. So uh, the current situation right now, we've got a couple people. Uh, what's going on with these couple people here? Let's see here. Ooh, uh, Knight of Wands. So it's about moving forward passionately. So it could be both of you moving towards, you know, moving, you know, forward passionately. Uh, and this is saying to, you know, maybe perhaps slow it down, but it's a Knight of Wands. Uh, so Knights are all about, uh, um, uh, you know, just a lot of fire. They're all about, you know, motion. They are all about, uh, you know, uh, 
just a lot of energy, passion, lust, adventure type thing. So the interesting thing is that if you've got um, a Cancer here, you know, a, a, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces type here, or someone carrying that water sign, you might have a younger person coming on in as well. Um, so this could be in a relationship or in a situation. So just saying, I don't want to kind of block it off as um, being a relationship. I just want to see what wants to come up for you. But it does look like there's someone coming through very passionately. Okay, so they might have fire energy or they have fire in their sign. Um, but that's what I feel because because I feel that this is you, okay? Just saying. That's the current situation right now. So let's take a look at the opportunity uh, and uh, let's take a look at uh, the opportunity or challenge that they have. Opportunity or challenge, what is it? Okay, so this is about balancing. So this is about balancing a situation, maybe balancing a relationship or situation. Uh, maybe you're helping someone out or someone's helping you out. Uh, that's exactly what I see here. Uh, and this is about balancing of the scales. Okay, so there could be a need for balancing of the scales here um, in a situation, in a relationship. Sixes are about growth. So I feel that it's kind of about balancing the scales now. Okay, so the opportunity is to balance the scales. The challenge is not doing that. All right. Um, let's see if anything else wants to come out for this. Um, for the... Uh, this is the six of coins. So I really feel this could be a, a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, someone with that in their sign. Or you might have it in your sign, but um, you might have someone that's maybe perhaps helping you out. Let's see. This is about forgiveness. Yeah. This is about forgiving. So in this relationship or situation where there's a balancing of skills, there is forgiveness that is needed here. So some of you, um, the, 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 the challenge might be in forgiveness of harboring some sort of resentment that's blocking the flow of love in your life. Um, and uh, I just bring that up because that's what's coming up. Uh, so this is interesting. What the universe wants you to know is that forgiveness is going to be a big energetic part of balancing the scales in a relationship or a situation. Okay, so that is going to be very, very forgiveness. Wow. How interesting, guys. And um, seeing if anything else wants to come through challenge or opportunity, anything else. Meditate. Okay, so this is about you know, just on this situation, whatever is calling that it's about, uh, it would be helpful to meditate on the situation in terms of getting the forgiveness. Okay. If, if in terms of being able to do that, because it's, you're also giving the forgiveness, you know, for yourself, it's for yourself first. And then another, because you open up your chakras of love, you let go of that baggage and you open it up and that leads to a balanced emotions and, and therefore can lead to a balanced situation. So, uh, that is the opportunity. So the recommendation, the universe wants you to know is to meditate and to bring forgiveness into the situation okay it's what's coming up here all right um let's take a look at what you need to focus on what is it that you need to focus on Aries what is that okay here it is let's see you want to focus on the good vibrations. This is really nice. This is all about just having the sunshine on you, being that childlike, uh, you know, being very transparent in your feelings and, uh, you know, moving forward with passion and uh, just with a smile on your face. This is what the universe wants you to focus in on. Okay. Very, very important. It's a major iconic card, one of the best cards in the deck. So I'm thinking that is absolutely really beautiful. Anything else that wants to come through for the sun? It's what you need to focus on at this time in this situation. Okay. What else? Balance. Yeah. This is about um, that bringing a state of balance into your world. And, um, and when you do so, you're able to live without judgment. You're able just to really move forward. So balance, you're really, really getting your balance. And remember, we just talked about this. So that forgiveness, really focus on good vibes and that forgiveness. And that'll balance the scales out for you um, in this situation. So balance is key. Nice. Let's take a look at your past and let's see what wants to come up for your past. Okay. What's in for your past here that we have? Let's see, I'm going to shuffle a couple more times. Okay, here it is. What is it? Okay, perseverance. So this is the nine of wands, that fire energy. Uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius, this is you. I really feel that you've been persevering, okay? You've been beaten up a little bit, right? And it's all about, oh my gosh, am I going to ever get that next wand? Uh, and, it, and it really truly says that you will, because you're not going to give up until you get it. So in the past, you've been really persevering in a situation, in a relationship, 
but it could be in a job as well. But that's what this is saying. You've been continuously persevering and that's what's coming into play. Okay. And uh, anything else about that past in terms of perseverance? Let's see what else wants to come out. Here we go. What is it? Repetition. So I think that they made the same thing kept happening over and over and over again in a relationship or situation. And this is what I like about the uh, new moon that's coming out, uh, you know, that is coming out on April 7th, uh, because it's, it's telling that repetition is coming to an end. Now, in the past, this has, uh, you know, this has been affecting you. There's been some sort of repetition, a scenario that kept happening over and over again. Now, this could be externally in a relationship or situation. It could be something that you've been putting up with in terms of partner patterns, okay? And that could be the case, okay? But it's left you in some sort of anger anguish and I think you're contemplating in your understanding where that repetition you know is happening what at least the repetition is and you're persevering to push through and get out of this and I think that that was the key thing okay uh, so that's what I see coming through here um, let's take a look I want to take a look at as to um, what your strengths are right now what is your strength okay what is your strength here it is what is it <laughs> it's strength. <laughs> well, you couldn't get any more perfect than that, Aries. Let's tell you. So this, it is strength. So this is great. And this is saying is that you've got the strength to push through this. You, you know, in terms of your past and moving through this repetition thing, you've got the strength. You've got the tools necessary. You're getting balanced. There's the affinity symbol right above our head, which is that, you know, a being balanced. Uh, this is an eight card, right? And this is just turning a lion into a kitty. You know, it's like really, it's just, uh, and I think that's by opening, you know, you're really balancing yourself and, and, and opening up love in yourself and that forgiveness that opens up love in you and feeling that good vibe. So, you know, the lion's catching on to this. So your strength right now is strength. Okay. I am going to pull um, a, uh, a, a soul tree card because I want to see if there's anything that in terms of strength that can help you uh, advice. Yeah. In have strength in your friendships. So friendship is going to be very, very big in a situation or in a relationship. Um, so friendships are going to be very, very key. So strengthen your relationship with your friends. Um, that's going to be very, very helpful. Okay. That's going to be very helpful. Sorry. It's scary. That's my little bella that came through. So hold on just one second. Hold on. She opened the door. Oh my, that's so funny. So, you know, we're talking about the strength card, right? And the little lion. Well, I have my own little lion. She's a lilac point Persian and she's so cute. And she just like, just put all paws on the door to open the door up. And then all of a sudden she stood there. It was really cute. So strength is very key. And uh, this is strengthening your friendships. It's going to be very, very key for you. So, so do keep that in mind that friendships are going to be really, really important in this situation. Um, so in, in terms of strength, at least. Okay. Uh, and, uh, or make time for your friends, you know, really seek to create new things and do and new things. That's going to be really, really helpful. Anything else for you have faith, have faith and whatever it is that you're manifesting, whatever it is that you want in a situation, perhaps it's a relationship, whatever that is, uh, this is saying to have continuous faith in it. Uh, so faith is going to be very, very important here. Um, yeah, have faith. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's just really, really complete trust and certainty, uh, that, you know, on yourself and the outcome on whatever it is that you are focusing on. So keep that at hand, have faith and do not give up. Okay. That's what it's telling you about faith. So, uh, strengthen your friendships uh, and have faith that you can push through on whatever it is that you want in this situation or in this relationship. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on into, um, I want to move on to the near future. What is your near future? What does that look like for you? She did it again. There she is. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What is, what is that near future? What is it? Here it is. King of Swords. So you could have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your midst. Um, so uh, the very much will be the case or you're taking on this energy and cutting out something that is no longer serving you. Okay. So that's very, very uh, huge. Uh, so this is about having authority. Uh, the King of Swords is talking about being very intellectual and very clear thinking. So Aries, you might be taking on more of an intellectual point of view in this situation or in this relationship this time and having some clear thinking. Okay. Anything else that we can clarify with the King of Swords? Let's see what that is. Let's see what that is for you. Okay. Near future. Okay. 
Wow, this is about having a lot of self-confidence and making a lot of progress. So whatever it is that you're doing that you are focusing on here in the near future, you're being recognized. And this is fabulous because the wreath is all about success. And this is about that fire energy moving forward. So this is really, really beautiful. So I love seeing that. Anything else that can help you? And that's that uh, this is you. I really feel that this is you. So this is your being recognized. It's about success. It's about growth in a situation situation. Um, this is beautiful. Anything else that wants to come through? This is about balancing things out. So you might be balancing a few things out, uh, personal, professional life, emotional and intellectual, that type of thing, or two people. Um, but I really feel that it's just overall balancing yourself and emotions uh, and that type of thing. Let's see. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry about that. You know, the funny thing is, remember we talked about strength here? I gotta tell you, my little bell's just running around all over the place and she just has all this energy and she's super, super adventurous. So I don't know, maybe that's for how some of you maybe might be feeling at this particular time. Uh, and I don't know, but that's what's really coming through. It's so crazy. She doesn't typically get like this, but in any event, I just wanted to let you know she's having some fun. She's running around. She's doing her acrobats I mean, acrobatics is crazy uh so anyway but yeah so yeah as i was getting back to this is about making progress cutting things out and balancing okay i do want to pull a card to see if there's anything that you need to know in terms of um uh, what is some good advice in terms of the near future as you balance your gain recognition and confidence and then you're taking on this intellectual energy anything else that's important for you in the near future regret. This is about knowing that you cannot change the past. So I really think that um, you are kind of cutting out the regret of the past. Really, I really do. And uh, you're making some really great progress. Okay. And it might seem to wobble back and forth a little bit, but you're being recognized and making some absolutely great progress. So that's what I see is getting rid of regret. Um, note your comments below. If that is, uh, and, you know, kind of for some of you there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what is your suggested approach? What's your suggested approach in this situation? Uh, what does that look like for you? Okay, let's see what that is. Ace of Swords. This is a potential opportunity. This is power, victory. Uh, this is, uh, you know, clarity. And this is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy. So you might be taking this energy on in terms of getting the clarity that you need. This is beautiful. And this is what it wants you to truly be your suggested approach to get that clarity that you need uh, in terms, you know, before moving forward. So that is really, really beautiful. And this is having success over that. So that's great. Let's take a look at uh, what you need to know. What is it that you need to know? What is that? The world is that there is a completion. The world is about travel, but it's also about a completion, right? A successful completion. And I really believe that you have gained, uh, you know, that opportunity to really have the strength and move forward and not only to rid of regret, but you've actually fi fi finished some sort of cycle successfully. Now that could have been in a relationship. Okay. Uh, for some of you, okay. Uh, some of you, it could be the place. It could be the case. Um, closing a cycle in a relationship or situation. Um, and so that's what I see in terms of the world card. Anything else that wants to come in the world card? Major Arcana card, Major Arcana. So this is interesting. Yeah, you closed a cycle. It's almost like there's some, some sort of completion with a lover. So, wow, this is amazing. So that's what I feel here. Um, the lovers is coming right through here. So another major arcana back to back. Uh, so some sort of completion. Gosh, you, this is three major arcanas back to back on what you need to know. And I get the magician card, right? So you get the uh, world card, you get the lover's card, you get the magician to make this whatever you want. You are in control. You, this is about taking action and moving forward and manifesting what it is that you desire and what you want. This could be, and this what you need to know is that if you want to manifest a love situation, a lover's, you know, whether it's to get someone back or to get another, it is here for you. You've got all the resources something needed to come to a close before you can move forward um, and it could be with one of the suitors from the very beginning I'm just saying that okay so note your comments below but this is beautiful um, let's take a look at what uh, your hopes and fears are hopes and fears oh my gosh your hopes is that emotional fulfillment this is 
You have such beautiful cards coming out, Aries. I'm so excited for you. This is about a potential for a manifestation. This is about, well, well it's really it's potential for compassion and intimacy. So this is your hope that you have emotional fulfillment with that. Your fear is that you won't, okay? Uh, what can help you in terms of this Ace of Cups? This is a potential, and this is great. This is absolutely beautiful. Self-esteem. This is saying that uh, that you possess uh, gifts of the soul that benefit others. So emotional fulfillment. Uh, that you you possess gifts of the soul that uh, you know have a a strong uh, uh, effect on other people. They really benefit others. So your self esteem is really really important, and that's what's going to lead you to emotional fulfillment. Uh, very very important. And this is also having the the, the courage uh, to face fear. Okay. And I really think that we covered that because we have Bella running all over the place and she never does this. And that's just about her being courageous, her courageous self her running all over. And so and she was doing a little bit of these roars, but it's more or less kind of like this, um, this myrrh in her that, that just keeps her going. It's crazy. But I love it in her and I love that about her. And I really think that that's coming out in terms of her courage, just being who she is. And this is saying is that, you know, finding her inner strength, about you finding your inner strength and facing fears with confidence. All right. And that's, and then of course, right next to that, we've got the self-esteem. So this is what you want to focus on to move you forward to what it is that you want. What is the overall um, outcome? What is the overall outcome? of this situation, whatever's at hand for you for the month of April, Aries, what is that? The chariot. You are in the driver's seat. I'm just saying, another major arcana card. Unbelievable. This is all about um, truly, uh, you know, having the willpower to change things. And again, that self-confidence and that courage to change things is playing a huge part for you. Um, this is also saying that you've got control, okay? And so whatever situation is at hand, you've got control, right? This is like, you know, guidance from the universe, the stars and balancing both sides of a situation. Remember, we had that at the beginning, kind of balancing things out. We had that as well. So that was very, very key. So you've got the chariot. You're in control. There's no better place to be. This is saying have faith. This is a seven card. Have faith, right? Have the courage. And then, you know, of course, have the self-esteem. And then you're going to get that overflowing emotion. So what it is that you want, that's what wants to come through. Uh, anything else that uh, might want to come through with the good vibes? Let's see what that is. What else for your Aries? Let's see. Accept the gifts of the universe. So you have got some great things coming. I'm so excited. I'm glad my, at least my Mercury is in Aries, so I'm excited about that. But this is really, really great for you. I'm so excited to see that. Accept the gifts of the universe. It's a 51 card, which brings it to a 6. Remember we talked about the very beginning, growth uh, being on April 7th with the new moon. That's also about growth. You've got you've got the momentum of the universe and you've got it also in your read. So the universe wants you to know growth is here, uh, an opportunity at hand is here, whatever it is that you want. This is saying to be generous in whatever it is that you do. So that's going to be very, very positive and important for you. And anything else, uh, if you need any support to call upon your angels, is going to be very important as well. So Gosh, Aries, what a beautiful read. I look forward to uh, seeing you uh, next time. And until then, namaste.